Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner where it is day 30, 30 of Mermaid. And today we've got the Red Snapper. So I'm thinking uh, something red. I know, crazy. Um, I'm probably gonna play with some incredible inks just to lay down a background. Listen, Snapper, you're going up there. And uh, I did get some ballpoint pens. I'll probably draw something out with those, I'm not sure. And uh, you know, I totally forgot that I had this <laughs> sitting on the side of my desk. The Kuretake color set. Kuretake picture something something color set. I don't know. It's, I bought them a long time ago and they were sitting like upright over on the edge of my desk between my little storage cabinets. Totally forgot that I had them, so probably gonna play with these because there's a lot of reds and golds and uh, why not? So I'm gonna put these aside for now though. Put these aside for now. Oh, I also pulled out a super cheap mixing tray because those watercolors don't have a, a mixing tray palette. So I'll probably use that. But I'm gonna sploosh down some incredible inks, some water, close the book on it. You know the drill, get a nice soft, something happening of, I, I don't know at this point. My brain is so gone. So yeah, we're just gonna bloop some bloops down. Obviously I have to smell it cause I'm weird. And just a touch of the yellow. And then I'll add a little extra water. I see you extra bloop right there. That's kind of just do something, smurge these around, get some color mixing happening. Got a lot chilling in this little gutter area. You guys off, get that little goober off. All right, gonna add some more water to that side. Take everything back in and give it a nice close. Ah, give it a nice rub down. Who's a good little art journal? Yes, you are. And we'll open it back up. Clean out that center area. Let it drip and drizzle a bit. And I kind of want some more red in there. And I think I'm just gonna let it sit for a bit and dry it and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, before I dry this too much, sorry, I just hit my camera stand. Before I dry this too much, I was gonna show you this little scratchy magachi. So I'll do it on this side because I don't really, well, okay, I'll do it here, whatever. I don't know what it's gonna be for. And I don't know if it's gonna work as well as it normally does, just cause it's already dry. Add a little extra water in there, let it sink in. Dab up some. All right, now I'm gonna thoroughly dry it as I hit the camera stand again, doing good. All right, so looking at this, I don't know if you can probably see like the little, it's very nice subtle little paths that totally does remind me of a Zen garden when they have those rakes and the sand and all that jazz. But I'm looking at this and I kind of don't want to use pen on it. I don't think it's the right fit. Why, I'm not sure, but I think colored pencil will be the way to go. So bear with while I get a red out. Um, red schnappa. I want some reds. Not really too much orange happening, but like a reddish orange. What is this? Permanent red. Sounds like you're gonna be there for a long time. Maybe like a creamy yellow? There's not like a yellow yellow. His eyes, her eyes, the eyes are yellow though. Let's do more of a golden yellow. I always do vibrant, vibrant yellow. So calm down with saying yellow. Let me give these a sharpen. Maybe we'll have better luck than yesterday where every pencil I used sharpened broke. I mean, I can't really blame the colored pencils because I traveled for a year with my art supplies. Like every six months, we were going to different hotels and my art supplies got bashed around quite a bit. So I'm surprised it's, you know, holding out as well as it is. I just wish it was, you know, always in tip top shape. Alrighty. I'm going to sketch it out with the lighter reddish color. What was it? Permanent red? What does this color even look like? Paper? Oh, paper. All right. So how much, 
How different is that? Not much. But those colors all look quite nice together. <laughs> all right. You know, when I was putting this together, I didn't realize that I had so many warm colored fish, like all in a row. Or it was like every other day I'm doing like really warm fish. <laughs> I ain't mad at it, but I hope you guys don't mind. Oh, and somebody asked if I had a pencil extender. I do. Here's one. Maybe I'll just use that white and then I'll just re replace them because that one's just about done. All right, I was hoping that a face would emerge from the pages. Let me smell it, let me just smell it. Ah, the smell's already faded, but I love it. I do, I love the smell of them, I can't, can't say it enough. Anyway, I was hoping it would speak to me, but I'm not, I'm not seeing it. So, I'm just gonna have to draw something, something. Maybe a head here, right in this little light area with a, a shoulder. Maybe she'll have her arm up, shoulder down. So she's like leaning on one arm, chest, tail could go off that way. Or I could do something totally different. I could draw her here, shoulders slouching and her tail could just, you know what? I'm just gonna start drawing and whatever happens, happens. I didn't plan this as well as I thought I would in my head. I was really hoping for something to pop up on the page. So her tail looks weird. We're over it. She's a mermaid, it's allowed. Draw a brow, little nose thing happening. Lips. I'm not going into details too much just yet because I'm gonna bring watercolor into this. And I'm not really sure where that's gonna take me. Should I do like huge obnoxious fins? Why not? Yeah, so she can move her tiny little body about. And then I should do, I could do her other arm. So here's her elbow down here. It's coming up. She's got her hand like over her shoulder. Meh, that doesn't look great, but it's there now. Should I have her hair flowing? It's gonna go like this, because that was my last minute decision that I just made. I'm gonna darken up a couple of areas with the darker red if I can grab it and bring in some watercolors. I just don't wanna lose my very sketchy drawing once those watercolors go down. I always seem to lose the eyes. Yeah, we'll just give some kind of, it's a really high hairline. Hair, face, all right. All right, Red Schnappa. Let's put the colored pencils aside for now and scooch this over a little bit and bring in this huge thing of watercolors. And I haven't really played with these. I only briefly swatched them. There's the swatches. Um, I'm gonna kind of put, let's see. It's just huge. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that up there and reference it if I need to. I'm gonna need a paper towel and my water, which is still blue from yesterday because you know, who cleans their water right after they finish an art piece? Not me. Get my brush wet. Oh, I should probably spray these, I guess, activate them. I think this is all plastic. Yeah, whatever, we're gonna find out. I um, think I'm just doing basically, oh, ooh, these are pretty down here, but they don't lay down too solid. You know, I'm just gonna stick with the warm watercolors up top. I don't know if you can see it, there's like a weird orange strip of watercolor, that's bizarre. Well, that's staying there now and half on my finger. Okay, everyone just calm down. So a lot of these colors, I don't know if I'm actually gonna need that palette. A lot of the colors, like these ones are all very pink hues. I will be using these three like in here and all the yellows, Psh, why not? That needs more water, it's very sticky feeling. Oh, I'm so tempted to jump into these purples down here just in case we don't know you don't know me <laughs> okay you probably do if you've been watching my channel 
let's just, and I haven't mixed these, water, well, I haven't done anything with these watercolors, but I'm assuming they'll work quite similarly with the um, incredible inks underneath. I think I'm just gonna have her tail kind of fade up into her skin. And let's go for her like a creamier gold color. Scales all the way up, why not? I am debating in my head if I want to do her skin with colored pencil. We'll see. Uh, let's do a bright yellow. Whoa, all right for the tail fins and can bring in some of the orange. These watercolors are a little strange. Not in a bad way, just in a, I've never used these kind of watercolors before. Like they're almost gooey feeling. Like my brush kind of sinks into them. It's a little strange. Not mad at it. color just for the outside edges have I grabbed this I'm like did I grab the same color all right miss thing and your huge tail let's give you some dark red hair maybe I will mix a color like my brush is like sticking to it it's so bizarre I want to bring in a purpley it just says purple but it looks like it has a lot of red in it let's see if I can do this for her hair a lot of water on the brush. I'm gonna bring in a brown color. Raw Umber Deep, it sounds so fancy. Um, which one is that? I think it's, there's gold, I think it's this one. I just felt her hair could use something more. Let's mix some of this brown color with the red color. Bring in some more red. And try and get like a nice shady warm tone for her thin thingy. Plop in some texture. Maybe mix in some bright yellow. And I should really let this dry. Just sopping up some of this excess water. All right, I'm gonna give this a quick dry before I make a huge mess. Okay, so these watercolors are a little weird. Like they're shiny and I thought it was still wet, but nothing's coming up. All right, we're just gonna con continue on, I guess. I'm gonna make a dark, why did that turn green? Oh, brown and yellow, hello. I'm just gonna get like a dark color for some hair or a little uh, definition in the hair. It's the idea of shading. So for her body, I might use this yellow ochre and maybe this is called Rose Matter. And that's just really light. I think I'm gonna do most of the body with colored pencil. So I can just stop with that. Maybe I'm done with the paints. You know, it was a fun little first go around with the Kurtatake, if I'm saying that right. It's fun to say it the way I'm saying it, but I don't know if it's correct. Um, putting those aside, huge, huge palette. So I'm gonna give her a quick dry and then we'll come back in with the colored pencils. All right, I think I'm just gonna start right away with my darkest color, because I'm a fool. So I want to do some line work and really define some things. I can't get 
give her something going on with her face. Listen, fish, you gotta have more than just gold eyes. I need, I need something to work with. Well, that's just gonna have to do. All right, let's take a little bit of this color and just blend out the cheek a little bit. All right, let's get into her body. Keeping the shading quite simple on the arm. I feel like I should get a darker color to clean up these edges. Or maybe I'll just use this and push the background back. Well, I'll brighten it up, make her body stand out a little more. pencils. Nothing fancy. still want to give her eyes a little more. Let's see if I have a dark red. What do we got? Raspberry. Raspberry. <sighs> Didn't really do much. Ooh, but it does add a little, a little something to her hair. I know what you're thinking. Where her where are her ears? Well, she's a fish and they're just little holes in the side of her head. Just adding a touch of this darker raspberry color in. And with that, you guys, I think we are done. I think so. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Red Snappa. There it is. It's a very warm overall piece. And you guys, we have one day left. And I ordered something from janedavenport.com. I mean, surprise, surprise. But it is coming from Australia. And it has been a little over two weeks. I was hoping it would be here. It's sitting in New York City right now. Uh, if it gets here today, I will use it tomorrow. If not, You'll just have to see them later on in another video. I'll probably still use them for a mermaid though. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for uh, joining me. Stay healthy, stay safe, keep creating. And uh, yep, I'll see you tomorrow with one more mermaid. I can't believe this is the end. This is so crazy. Thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you later. Take care. Bye.